Hey, there she is. Lori Richards, how you doing? Just great, just great. Yeah. How about so you? All good here. The sun is shining here in Mexico City. I see it's getting dark, dark there in North Carolina. Dark, dark there. That's called the Northern Hemisphere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I never get to see in person anymore. Oh, good. I'm so glad Kitty's in the picture. <laughs> she wants some attention. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited about our next watercolor drama workshop that's kicking off uh, January 18th. And uh, so we got a little, a few weeks to sort of rest and recoup and then we're back at it. But I just want to let you know, I've had a few people say, what is this new format? Because the format is evolving a little bit. You're sort of taking it, you're taking it to a new place as you should. I wouldn't want them all to be the same. So I understand you're going to be asking people to use um, a bit more of their imagination in this workshop. Can you tell me what that means, please? <laughs> Okay, let me try. Uh -huh. so basically, for a long time, I felt as though in our workshops and in my own painting, <clears throat> excuse me, I stick to reference photos or I stick to the view that's in front of me. And I don't, I have not really talked about what if I want to add my own creative juices to that reference? What if I don't want to do it exactly the way I see it? Where do I start? How do I do that? You know, how do I know I can do it and not have it be ugly in the end? And so that question I've asked myself a lot, and I've thought it would be helpful to do a workshop around it. So that means that <clears throat> we will have reference photos and each class will have a technique, a compositional idea or a set of techniques to focus on. So it's not without structure by any means. But within that, we will be talking through and asking the question of, here's a subject, how can I do it in my own way? Yeah. And that means maybe I wanna do a whole different set of colors. Maybe one of our classes is all about painting values rather than colors, or another might be, I wanna sort of abstract it. I don't want it to be exactly the way it is. It's a yeah. form, you know, feeling more comfortable with just doing that. And each of these ways, or I want a minimal painting. I only want to do a tiny piece of what I'm looking at. Yeah. So those are creative and artistic compositional decisions that we make. So this workshop is about finding ways to do that and feeling confident that the result will be something that you feel good about. Do you so. know, I, I uh, just hearing you explain it like that, it really, it's really like clicking in the old ticker here. Oh, um, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I gotta, it's got a click in my ticker too. <laughs> yeah, make sure it clicks in the ticker, right? Um, <laughs> only because, uh, you know, when these pandemic days and just, you know, like my Zoom sketch sessions and your workshops, we were in our home studios and we're working from photo references, right? As a way to evolve and, and, and increase our skill. Right. Um, which I remember when I first started sketching, I always used photos. And then I literally had to break that habit of uh, always having a photo reference, right? And I remember it feeling like a separation anxiety. I'm like, oh, what am I gonna do? Right. Well, I had to use more of my, my creative mind and, and imagination. And I think just because of us just being in our own studios to sort of push people to use their imagination a bit more, I think it's very timely. I think it's, it's a great next step in the evolution of your workshops. And I think your participants will enjoy this new challenge. I hope so. I mean, I really feel though, as though it's a question of being inspired by what you see, but not feeling a slave to it. Yeah. And so that's when you can play with it. I mean, I've said the workshop is about play. And so that's what I mean. Yeah. Or take off the chains of feeling like you have to do it a particular way. It's not work. It's, it's not play. work. It's play. And that may even include the choice of subjects. For example, I was mentioning to someone earlier, I want to do a dragonfly. For some reason, I think there are beautiful paintings of dragonflies. Now, I have to give myself permission to just do a dragonfly for the fun of it. That's another way. The choice of the subject could be very personal. Yeah. Anyway, so 
it will not be without structure, believe me. I think I'm incapable of teaching without structure. Yeah, you're a pretty structured teacher. <laughs> very, very, you know, in tune with what your participants are, uh, you know, experiencing. And so that's what uh, has been part of the, the, the great, one of the great features of your workshops is you're always like, you maneuver based on feedback, right? You're uh, a step or two ahead of everyone and, and maneuver based on feedback. So it's always a good learning experience in your workshop. And I think that's that's kind of what we just need to let people know what this next workshop is about. We've got a few spaces left, not many, which is always exciting. Your workshops always fill up very quickly. So I uh, don't get to see you in person anymore. So I, I know. I know. It's what a shame. It is. I miss. <laughs> I don't see people anymore. I just see Zoom people, right? Uh, anyways, thanks for taking a moment to sure. clarify all this. And uh, happy New Year. And Same to you and everyone else. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Lori. Sure. Bye. Bye. <laughs>